Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hello, hello. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. How was your trip? It was wonderful. It was really beautiful. So it was everything I thought it would be and more. So wow. very grateful. Very grateful. That's amazing. And you had a nice turnout of people. You met a lot of nice people. and Yes, we met so many people that were just so interested in who we were and what we were doing. And then they would come into the booth and sit down and receive maybe 10, 15 minute space with one of the facilitators. And we had people crying, people laughing. There were people experiencing the energy moving their body and jolts and twitches. And wow. it was really beautiful. People were people that had done this work for maybe 20, 30 years. And they said they'd never felt anything like it. It was a new level. So amazing. We, we're really grateful. Incredible. That's amazing. Thank you for joining me today. We can start if you want. Or... Oh, yes, yes. You, yeah, you yeah. do with it what you will. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So this podcast is the journey of enlightenment. So I'm bringing on different people from all over the world who are here to basically help others, enlighten them, uh, whether it's through different tools, modalities. Um, and I'm very lucky to have A.L. Garris here. I was very lucky to work with her for a month, and I've seen huge shifts in my life. Um, she's developed this a Cosma quantum healing technique, and she works with thousands of people all around the world, uh, helping them align. So could you explain, you know, where this came from or how it came and tell us about yourself and the Cosma as well? Thank you, Holy One. Thank you so much for this space. Thank you for creating it and being it. Uh, I'm A.L. Garris. People that know me well know me as Andrea. Some people call me the woman who walks with angels. That was uh, put upon me many years ago from the video content I was sharing. Uh, beautiful orbs of light, flashes of light, um, divine beings coming in. These are higher dimensional beings that we are now in a vibrational state of existence ourselves, consciousness ourselves, that we're able to connect in more with, if you will. Um, a Cosma quantum energy came in in 2020, as in we're connecting with it now, if you will, it's ancient. So its actual origins are with the origin of Earth, the architecture of Earth. Um, it is now returned to humanity, if you will, through this space I am presenting uh, to assist in the ascension. So we're in a vibrational space of ourselves where we can feel and hear and understand and, and reconnect, if you will, with these higher vibrational spaces of ourselves. So uh, it started happening to me in my own personal life. Um, and the way in which my life was shifting and opening up and I was understanding myself as consciousness within form and all the world around me very differently. I was reading and registering and processing and my life was changing and shifting. A job of 17 years disappeared and um, many doors began opening as I trusted myself and allowed. And um, yes, sometimes my voice will change. I will over accentuate my words and uh, jolt or twitch a bit, but I'm fine. It's all good. It's just <laughs> an energy, energy rising Coming and through, surging. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And so the, the Cosmic Quantum Energy came in in 2020 and uh, I just began teaching. Uh, there's so much to the story. There's so much to the story. And I know we have a short period of time here. So I'm trying to think of what other spaces that would be most beneficial. Mm. But I did Reiki for years and I love Reiki. Mm. And I think it's a fantastic space of energy healing. And I think it was a space we were ready for when it was here with us in the very beginning stages mm. and through, you know, much of history of humanity. And then when we were ready for a Cosma, it came, you know, and it is this space of ourselves that is uh, bridging us into our higher uh, mind and our higher heart. So mm. it's a higher vibrational space of connection and it, it has beautiful teams of light that are already with us, but we weren't maybe registering them, mm. if you will. And so these teams of light are working with us. That's how I first realized this was different. I was doing what I thought was a traditional energy session that I had done for years. And I had a client on the table. Yes. And uh, they had had some 
issue with a injury in their arm for quite some time and nothing was helping doctors nobody could figure them out so they're on the table and i'm doing my thing and all of a sudden i could see with my physical sight but it was like a different type of physical sight i don't know how to mm. explain it i could tell they were there i could sense they were mm. there and i could also kind of see their form but these beings came into the room and they were very divine like you wanted to cry because they were just so mm. loving and I'm just doing the space and seeing the space and being the space. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And so the, the client starts lifting their arm that was wounded and starts moving it, like really beautifully moving it. Mm. And so I'm just like, oh, wonderful. She's stretching, you know, she's feeling the healing. So we get done with the session and she says to me, wow, you were really moving my arm. Yeah, <laughs> and I said, exactly. I, I said, I thought you were moving your arm. And she says, no, I felt your hands on me. I felt you moving it. And I mm. said, oh, no, that, that was these beautiful beings of light. So that was one of the first times I realized this was a new ball game. This was a new space. And then I started getting messages and understandings coming in. And they were explaining to me what was happening with humanity. But I really believe it's us explaining mm. it to us. I believe it's higher vibrational spaces of us that's actually who's coming in and communicating. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like this is way um, health is going on an energetic level because, you know, I, you see this picture of like a rotten apple next to another apple and that apple can become rotten from the energy of the other apple. And that proves that everything is energy around us. Mm -hmm. And it ties in with this kind of Aquarian age because Aquarius is air. So it's like kind of healing with the mind. It's like you can shift something energetically or with the mind, not only just physical touch. So your work is like a lot of remote work, right? So when someone has a session with you, it doesn't have to be in person, like someone putting their hands on, on you know, body work or something. So yeah, yes, you're right. That was the one of the last sessions I did in person. And then 2020 happened and the world shut down. Mm. So it wasn't an option anymore for energy healers to work in person in most spaces, if not maybe all of the spaces on the planet, we were separated. Mm -hmm. And so I thought that was fantastic as well as how we brought ourselves another level of remote. Cause I know Reiki can be remote. Um, there's yeah. other, there's other types of quantum healing, quantum touch that are remote as well. So I in mm -hmm. no way claim the only way I just say I'm one of the ways. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so this this space we do, we in, in a cosmic quantum energy, we call it consciousness to consciousness. Mm. You had four of those spaces with me. So yeah. you're familiar with what I'm talking about. Yeah, and you were incredibly accurate. Even like with my favorite color, you guessed it. Like even to the like cobalt blue, like exactly what it was. And it was just insane. And you you talk about remembrance. And that's a huge thing when I was doing some of your meditations. I highly recommend checking out AL's YouTube channel, listen to the different uh, music and meditations and healing uh, frequencies because remembrance, isn't that like the big part of quantum alignment is kind of remembering who you are. Um, could you talk about this? Because it's maybe something people can do this week, you know, without even having a session first, they can just kind of what can they do to remember or quantum align right away? Absolutely. Fantastic question. So all of the content on my YouTube channel that says a cosmic quantum energy session, music link, a tuning session, something like that, that is in infused with this energy I'm speaking of, this higher vibrational space of connection to the quantum you, the mm. multidimensional self. Even if you don't have a session booked with me or another one of the facilitators that are on this planet right now, mm. you can connect in through that music. It's infused with the energy. So anybody and everybody has access. That was very Amazing. big for me, all right? Yeah, yeah. Um, we have a free community. These spaces are free on YouTube. And then I have stuff that I do offer via of investment for people that want to go deeper, that want those notes you're talking about that give mm. them the specific insights. Uh, but yes, that music is infused with a cosmic quantum energy. And what that does is it bridges you in to the quantum self, to the I am that you are. Yeah. So every single being, every single living human conscious being is, yes, the I am within mm. form. Mm. And it is the prime consciousness, if you will, yes, exploring itself through an experiential space. Mm. A cosmic is able to bridge you in to that remembrance. Mm. And the minute 
we get bridged in, if I'm working with you or one of my um, Acosma facilitators is working with you, um, it's almost like, I love to say it like this, people are familiar with a filing cabinet or files on a computer where you look and you find the one you want and you can open it and you can get what's in there and you can move it around, you can edit, you can, you know, whatever you need to do, right? It's all at your fingertips. Mm. So is your quantum being. Mm. So is your quantum being. It's all energy. It's all energy and it's all the field, which is all right here. All right. So what we do with a Cosmo is we tap in. So I hold the space, I a Cosmo flow and you know, we could do another podcast another time if you want, where we actually take people in. We can do mm. that, you know? Mm. But um, it's the ability to connect into that remembrance. And then it is then available, which is what you witnessed as well with family connections, even. Yes. It's available then to be a line of alignment that can then move through mm. you and all your connective points. Yes, definitely. And we cleared a lot in my solar plexus, which is super accurate to kind of like my human design and my own work that I do. Uh, she said about my solar plexus and clearing this emotions and all this stuff, which has been a big part of it, like addictions and kind of uh, attachments to things. So it was incredible, the sessions. And it's like, it's interesting. I'm still feeling the effect of our four weeks together. Like every day, there's something like in a good way, like it's aligning again, like it is that remembrance, like things are clearing nice and slow. It's it can be very immediate and can also take time. You know what I mean? These kinds of things, um, and that I'm thankful for. Um, what what kind of classes are you offering for people who want to train in this? So like, how many levels? And I know you have a book which I need to order and read, but people can order that right without being a student. Yes, they can, you know. yes. and I have it right here so I can show everyone. This is the mm -hmm. book that uh, beautiful Michael is speaking about: AQE Foundations and its Remember Who You Are. So this book is written as a course book, but it's it's also like those beautiful videos on YouTube. If you connect with it with the intention of the open mind and the open heart, um, it's very activating. So mm. you just wouldn't have certification because you're not in the course space, but you could receive the understandings to work on the self and be mm. able to connect in with the higher mind, the higher heart through these understandings of expansion. My classes and courses, I do have going pretty much all the time. I have an AQE Foundations course that I'm starting on 225, 24, and it'll run for 10 weeks. And then, um, yes, uh, I also will have, that is the full foundations. AQE Foundations is three levels in mm -hmm. one course. So when you get done with it, you could be a facilitator and you get a certification, you get a certificate. Mm -hmm. um, you do have an evaluation, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you do get a certificate. Um, now I have also done it where we break it up into sections. So AQE one is self-healing and you mm -hmm. learn all about a Cosma from a self-healing perspective. Mm -hmm. AQE two, you could then work with family and friends. Mm -hmm. And then AQE three, and they're each five weeks, AQE mm -hmm. three, you're able to then facilitate for anyone. And it can be a career. It's my full-time career now. So oh, excellent. So level one might be good for someone who wants to add an extra healing modality to kind of their lifestyle, what they need to work on. Maybe they're working with a medical professional on an ailment. This would be a great idea to do this, you know, this program for 10 weeks and do it on yourself. Um, I'm trying to think what other advice you could give in the moment. Like if someone could kind of do this on, on themselves, like this remembrance, is there any wisdom you want to give? Like, is it meditation daily? Is it, you know, attuning yourself with frequencies? Like, what would you recommend? Uh, the most important thing you can do is trust yourself. Mm. The most important thing you can do is trust yourself and allow, allow because you trust so remembering that every day and every breath, you're already everything you need to be. And you just get to expand into more of you as you choose to. And everybody's doing it in their own way and in their own speed. Um, everything is incremental because everything is energy. And you wouldn't want to go to Z if you're only ready for C or B or D or whatever mm -hmm. it is, right? So allowing that trust that you're right where you need to be and you're moving where you are going in the perfect space in which is good for you. 
Um, I love to, when I entered into this space and it really opened up for me, I loved to just get quiet. It doesn't have to be traditional meditation where you can't think of anything and you have to sit completely still. Just being quiet and in looking around the room even is meditative state, you know, looking outside or being outside and just being present with the space. Mm -hmm. That's something I say a lot when I meet anybody on a um, the calls I do, I'll say, welcome to this space. And I always wondered, why do I say that? Because I, I just allow myself to say whatever's coming through. And I say it all the time. And I started thinking about it and I thought, it's such a beautiful understanding to make note of the space because that is presence. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. trusting yourself and being present with the spaces you're in and remembering how powerful your mind is. So whatever it sets its focus on will expand in your experiences yeah. and you're in charge of what the focus is and where it goes. So just owning that more and more and implementing, um, choosing to focus on joy, choosing to focus on gratitude, choosing to focus on love. Yes, other things may be occurring that may not be joy, love, and gratitude, but it's just your choice of where the focus goes. You know, they can be happening, but you're choosing to focus on this because this is also available. And mm. what happens is that starts expanding and the life starts shifting because more energy was being fed to the joy, the gratitude, the love. Mm. Um, but I got quiet. I allowed myself also to connect with tree energy. I swear it's so powerful and wow. so wonderful. You can do it by just intention. So you can sit in your living room, your bedroom, your car. It doesn't matter where you are because everything is energy and it's all the field. And then you just hold the thought in your head and the imagination in your being. You see a tree or a bunch of trees, whatever you want. And you just allow yourself to say, I connect with the tree energy. You have root lines. I teach this in Acosma. You may remember something in your notes I shared with you from your sessions. Every human has root lines, like trees have roots. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's by chance. I know it's by design. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so those root lines, yes, when you hold that intention of connecting with the trees, it's like a super, yes, deepening of your earth reconnection. Yes, which is very important. Yes because yes, ah, uh, we are ascending. We mm -hmm. are ascending and you cannot hold higher flow in your form without grounding it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So those root lines, the trees, the earth, really beautiful ways, really mm -hmm. beneficial ways. And anybody can do it. You don't have to have a park or a big yard or be out in the mountains. You can be in your living room in New York City or mm -hmm. wherever you are, but you just need to intend to connect to the energy of the trees and let them assist you in anchoring deeper with the earth. It's an incredibly mm -hmm. powerful way to do it. That's amazing. Thank you so much. And do you want to tell us about in-person retreats that you run? Can people come to an event, you know? Oh, yes. I love that. Thank you, Michael. Mm -hmm. I have two spaces I do a year right now. I've done them. This is my fifth year in a row. I started them in 2020. How fun is that? The, the world shut down and my guides said, have a retreat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? I mean, shift the energy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I did against all what you would call odds, right? Mm -hmm. I did it. And and my very first retreat, two people came. One wow. came from the West Coast and one came from the East Coast, but I, a man and a woman. And I thought, wow, there's balance right there. Mm. And and I did it. And in, now it's been growing every year. But I do Destin, Florida. Mm -hmm. This year it's April 21st through 24th. And then we also have Sedona coming up. I oh, do wow. Sedona in September. I haven't locked those dates in yet. We're putting mm -hmm. them in motion right now. But these are intimate spaces. So I usually only allow about 10 to 12 people into the events because they are also experiential in the, um, I, we, we're on the beach in Destin. We're standing in the water together. We're utilizing crystals. We're tapping into ceremony. Mm. Um, so it's a very, really beautiful, deep, in a connective space. And in wow. Sedona, I actually take you on hikes and we go oh, up nice. Bell Rock or yeah. maybe Cathedral or something like that. So I like to keep the groups kind of smaller because it's easier to handle and make it really nice for everyone. Amazing. And what is your website so we can share it here? Sacredexpansion.com. Okay. Sacred Expansion. And you're on Instagram, everything. They can watch your videos on YouTube. They can visit the website. And I thank you so, so much for joining me today. 
Thank you, Michael. It has been an absolute pleasure. You are a vibrant light, and I am grateful and honored to walk with you, Holy One. Thank you. I'm, I'm very lucky to know you. <laughs>